Hey guys, now in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at this tri screen solution that's going to work with a variety of laptops. It's going to take your productivity to the next level. Because again, this is where your laptop is, and you'll be able to have two additional screens that are going to take, again, that multi screen productivity, especially in the laptop, to the next level. Let's go ahead and check it out. Now this product is pretty straightforward. As we take a look at some of the features here, you have a screen ratio of 16.9. You basically have a contrast of 1,000 to 1. You also have the product size is 341 by 214 by 40 millimeters. It's relatively compact. You know, you have to have a larger screen, right? And then it also has a refresh rate of 60 hertz. The screen size, this is where the size comes in, 13.3 inches. It has a 1920 by 1080p resolution. Let's see what's inside. Now, the unboxing for this guy is gonna be pretty interesting. I already saw that based on the packaging. So here is one of the screens. We're gonna go ahead and take this guy out. Wow, it's robust too. Put it over here to the side. We'll take a look at this in a second. What else do we have in here? Uh, we have a power cord, all right. A user guide. What else do we have? Oh, and we have many, many, many cords. So here we have more information about the product so this is, looks like we have two user guides this looks like it's a quick reference guide and this is a smaller one we have again some color-coded cables right that we'll see in a couple seconds uh, here is another cable with an angle USB-C cable and this will see what it's used for and then here we have another one All right so each one of these is going to go for each monitor one for the left one for the right so that's pretty cool so let's check out the screens next now these screens come in really nice packaged. So here we have, and let me flip this over so you can see this. It is a Velcro sleeve, right? Go ahead and open this up. All right, this opens up this way. And now you're starting to see kind of like the inner working. That's like kind of like a protective sleeve so that you could take it with you. And it has kind of like a hard material underneath this to protect the actual screen itself. So this is what the screen looks like. This over to the side. And ooh, this looks really, really nice. Let's take a look at some of the options here. So let's open this up a little bit. Wow. I'm digging this. All right. Let's go ahead and adjust this a little bit so that you can see. I think it's going to be too big for the displayer. We're going to have to put this on the side in a second. But a couple things that you'll notice is it does have some controls here, right? So this is going to be... This is going to allow you to basically take the actual um, monitor itself, connect this to the monitor, and then adjust it um, on the laptop. And then basically what you have is the ability to adjust, again, uh, different power settings, uh, you know, enable or disable, and then you actually have the screens themselves. This is pretty, pretty large. Let me take this off camera for a second so you guys can see. Look how big this is, right? So here's one screen, here's a mount, and then here is your other screen. So very, very large. I think we're going to have to just set this up to see how this works. So you can see, again, all of the possibilities that you get. But you can see the kind of wraparound experience that you're going to get when you have this on a laptop. Because now all of a sudden, so check this out. Ooh, talk about immersive, immersive experience. I'm running this setup that you see here on a Lenovo Idea 7 Carbon laptop, which is a very thin laptop. And you can see that uh, the screen size of this laptop, I believe it's around 13 inches as well. So it really looks well when you compare it to these other two monitors. Now, a couple of things I wanted to highlight about this monitor setup that I think really sets it apart from some of the other ones that we've seen in the channel quite some time is that all the cables, so you can see here the two cables that are used to uh, provide uh, power and display here on the side, because I have uh, one, two, three USB-C ports on this laptop. These two right here are coming in, but they're not connecting anywhere here on the screens. You can notice over here that the screen is completely free. And that's because the USB-C cables connect to the actual uh, uh, frame here. And this is the frame that connects to the laptop. I like that design. It basically tucks in the bottom, and I'll show you that in a couple seconds. In addition to that, behind the monitor, there is actually a little kickstand that's out that um, allows you to adjust the angle that you'd like. Now, the one thing I noticed that you can't do with these is that the angle, the pitch that you have right here is pretty much fixed. You're not able to adjust it any further. So right now, the way you see this is pretty much the angle. I've seen other monitors that you can bring this in even further to have a more aggressive angle. And in this case, this is the setup here. 
Um, I didn't require any kind of drivers whatsoever uh, when it came to running this on this Windows uh, 11 machine. It will work on a Mac as well, and it will require some drivers to be installed in order for that to take place. Now, you'll notice here's my pointer. I'm bringing it over here. Here it is on this side. Here it is over here, and here it is over here. If I reduce this, and I were to bring up this display here, and I do uh, display settings, what you'll find is I can identify, and you'll notice how the monitors are being identified here. So uh, how does it perform, right? So I'm going to go ahead and bring up a screen here that we're going to be working on, right? Go ahead and bring this one into display. I have over here a browser page over here that's responding well. I have one in the middle here that's also responding well. And what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go over here and I have a YouTube video that I'm just going to play. This video, I'm going to share. Right. And I'm going to go ahead and stop that because it does. That's it's me and it's, my voice is going to get a little bit loud. Let me go ahead and navigate to our channel. All right. So now we're going to go ahead and run one video over here and I'm going to lower the volume so that we don't hear that. So that you'll see running on the side. Over here, what I'll do is I'll run this video, but I'll also put this on mute, right? So we can see that this one's running and then this one's running at the same time. And then over here, you can see I have a couple things going on. I have another browser, but I could also bring up a software application if I'd like. So I'm gonna bring up this uh, software application, which is for 3D printing app. And all of these are working uh, really well. Now keep in mind that the power of your laptop is really is what's going to be driving the ability to run all these monitors at once. But the setup works out really well. Uh, there's a couple of buttons on the top that I want to highlight, so let's check those out. Now, at the very top of the monitor, you have this button right here, which is going to be your release uh, switch. And that's going to allow, you notice here, this is the, the mechanism that locks the monitor in, right? So as soon as you push this, it releases it and it is... It will, it will basically pop out on its own. So it has like a little spring in there that pushes it out. Now over here, you have some controls. Uh, first of all, you do have the ability to access the menu. So you have uh, down, up, and then you have the power here. Now, one of the things that this monitor also has is that it has a micro SD card that will be found on the bottom, which I'll show you in a couple seconds. And then it also has the area that has the two USB-C uh, connectors. Uh, but let me show you some of the menu options. Now, by pressing uh, one of the buttons up here on the screen, what you'll be able to do is you'll be able to go through the menu options. I just want to show you some of the controls that you have here. So you have the ability to adjust your brightness, contrast, you know, the power mode, your sharpness. And you notice the brightness. This is right now at 50 percent. This is more than adequate. Um, I'm going to go ahead and bring that up again and we're going to continue to go down. Color temperature. You do have language settings, right? Transparency. And then what you have here is your uh, vertical position, horizontal position, clock phase, image um, auto adjust um, options um, as well. So this is going to give you a lot of choices when it comes to, you know, really configuring this and making it your monitor. Now you're going to be using those left and right buttons that we saw a couple seconds ago and then the power button as your selector when you want to make any changes. Now, as I mentioned, the actual monitor itself, the frame here, has a micro SD slot that you can use to store things on there. And it becomes part, as soon as you plug this in, you're going to get a notice that there is a USB or a micro SD drive available. And then here you're going to find several drivers. So you're going to find drivers for Android, drivers for Mac, and then drivers for Windows, as well as some other information. So uh, good to know that you have kind of like a, a hub type experience when you connect it. I wanted to show you what the back of the monitor looks like just for a second. So you'll notice down here, here you have your two USB-C connectors that are going in an angle, and you're using those angle USB-C cables. You have this kickstand right here that has different um, adjustment levels. So you'll notice how you can just swing it left to right and then adjust it to whatever level you want. And then when you're done, all you do is you tuck it away. Now you'll notice right here, this is the micro SD card that we were speaking of. Uh, you can take this out, you can replace it, um, you can use it to store documents. It turns the monitor into a hub of sorts so that you can upload or download documents to the micro SD.